Hello again. Uh, in this video we're going to examine the Royal Navy Destroyer class of airship. I'm hoping this is going to not only help users that have downloaded the schematic to use the ship on their own servers, but more importantly to give other designers some ideas that they can use in their own designs. In the Airship Pirates series, this is the workhorse of the Royal Navy fleet at the beginning of the story. She's designed to fulfill a variety of roles, a real jack-of-all-trades. Although it is a first-generation design and lacks some of the special features of later designs, she is, nonetheless, an effective ship for a wide variety of tasks from ground assault, bombing, fighter screening, and capital warship engagement. First thing to notice is that she has no hatches or ladders leading to the ground. The only way on board is through this hangar. She's designed to remain in the air all the time and shuttle supplies and personnel through this hangar. You can see we've got a couple of uh, aircraft in the hangar right now. We've got a little fighter and a uh, gunship, cannon ship. We'll get and we'll show you how those work later. This is a utility skiff for repairing the ship if that's ever necessary. And this is uh, more for uh, exploration. Okay, so the first thing, a weapon system that is unique to the destroyer uh, is the flaming arrow guns. Now, lots of ships have these uh, repeater, repeating guns uh, along the sides, but the destroyer is the only one uh, that can set them on fire. And the way that works is there's a button here on the side. I push that, the lava comes down. If I then uh, start the weapons firing via this switch, uh, we'll see flaming arrows coming out of that. Now, once again, let me just show you how this works. So here I am, this is the bomb bay directly forward of the hangar bay. And that's the, the switch to control the firing, and this button uh, puts out the lava. So in these top dispensers, I'll see that there's lava. In the side dispensers, I'll see that there are arrows. So I'm gonna activate that one more time. There goes the lava. Okay, now it's ready to fire. So let me show you what that weapon can do. All right, so over here we have this uh, bunker object being assaulted by a horde of hungry zombies. And we simply cannot have that. So we go up here and we pull the trigger on this weapon. We can watch the carnage from here. There go all of the uh, fire. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Smells like victory. Let me go down there so you can see up close what's going on. Hopefully I aren't all dead before I get there. <laughs> it's actually giving my computer a bit of trouble uh, on the frame rate. Oh, they're dropping like flies. <laughs> Die, undead vermin. I love how after, uh, after a barrage like this, you see all these arrows. The field is just covered in arrows. I'm a big fan of that weapon, you can probably tell. Okay, anyway. So yeah, the destroyer is the only one that has those. Uh, because they are hard to make, right? You gotta have the lava, you gotta have all that. Okay, let me stop this. Okay. Now, typically, a destroyer would wander around with half of her guns firing, or, or loaded with arrows in case she has to do any ground assaults and the other half loaded with fireballs uh, for defense against enemy fighters. So this side of the ship, if I look in these dispensers, these are loaded with fireballs. Now it's important to note, I mean, I could do, I could have double arrows, right? I could have arrows on both sides if I know I'm gonna be in some ground engagements, you know, maybe, uh, you know, wiping out hordes of zombies because that's important work, someone's gotta do it. Um, but most of the time you leave it half and half. Or if you know you're not gonna be doing any ground fighting, you just leave them both fireballs. Anyway, so out these windows you can see, hey look, there's another ship out there. And what's that? It's unarmored. Look at that. She's just got wool showing to air. Well, that was a foolish thing to do. No, so okay, the ship over there is uh, it's the Majestic Pearl. It's a uh, merchant ship. It's not intended to be a warship, so that's why it's not armored. And that's why I can do this to it. So it's now firing all of those fireballs. And you can see, okay, yeah. <laughs> I think that ship might be in a bit of trouble. What do you think? Yeah, I think I don't need to shoot any more than that. So uh, uh, so yeah, it, it just has a wall 
of fire. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, coming out of those guns, um, which is useful if you've got enemy fighters coming for you. You just face this side towards the direction the fighters are coming from, pull the trigger, and it covers the whole area in fire. That ship would be sinking, except nobody's piloting it. Okay, apparently I was piloting it. I did not even know that. All the better, so it's sinking. Great. Okay, back to the destroyer. Okay, so we've talked about her ground support weapons, her fighter screening weapons, um, but uh, this ship also has a cannon. Um, it's a first generation cannon, doesn't have all the bells and whistles that some of the later cannons have, but let me just go up here. This is the gun deck. So I'd be up here if I ever had to refill the gun. Um, if I fired the gun while I was up here, I would be deaf and probably dead, so don't do that fire it from down there. In an emergency, you actually can fire from the gun deck. I can hit this and look. Oh, there's TNT. Okay, I'm going the other way. And uh, then it will fire. Boom! Okay, uh, that'll that'll uh, wake you up in the morning. And there it went. Okay. So like I said, first generation gun. Um, you control the range from the gun deck. I'm sorry, not the range, the fuse, which can control range, but I later came up with better ways of controlling range. But like I say, first generation gun, right? So these uh, um, repeaters, yeah, these repeaters will control the fuse. If I go like this, so that these have very few clicks on them, now the fuse won't last as long, and uh, the gun uh, will not shoot quite as far. It'll also shoot further up in the air. See that? It exploded up there. I can also fire the gun from right here, which is probably where you would do it most of the, often, most of the time. So I'm just going to push this. And... Boom! Off it goes. Yeah. No, there was two projectiles. Could you see that? There was uh, two different explosions. Most Royal Navy ships shoot two projectiles per volley. You see that? There's two of them. Yeah. That's uh, The theory is uh, one gets through the armor and then the other one uh, uh, wreaks havoc on the wool inside. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, she also has two fire forward firing guns here and here. Uh, this is the theory being you punch a hole with that cannon, and then you set it on fire with this gun right here, which just shoots fireballs. You could load it with arrows, but why when you have those very nice arrow guns on the side? Hey, look, the zombies are already back. I should hit them some more. Um, okay, so now we've talked about the forward firing guns, the main cannon and the uh, uh, forward fireball guns. Okay. Uh, so the other onboard weapon system is this, the bomb. Uh, this is actually a cluster bomb dropper. Um, so this is a very advanced piece of machinery. Uh, the ship was originally designed, believe it or not, as a bomber. Um, that was her original intent. And then I added all these other weapon systems, uh, and it started becoming this sort of jack-of-all-trades ship. <clears throat> um, this device is a lot of fun to work with. Um, it's <laughs> more... Fun, then practical when it comes down to it. So most second generation ships don't have this complicated bomb thing. They just have a couple of dispensers that drop bombs. But let me show you how this works. So when I push this button, there's this uh, complicated timing mechanism in the ceiling above me, which makes it so that TNT will come out of there, fall onto that uh, piston, then be released just in time to meet up with other TNT that is falling out of these blocks here. Okay, uh, so I'll show you how that looks from the inside. Just push this button. Okay, there's the TNT sitting on top of there, and then it falls down, and then the other bombs go with it. Okay, and it blew up on the beach. You know, not much effect, right? But over there, up ahead of this, oh, what's that? There's a village that's been infested by creepers, apparently. And so, you know, to save the village, we have to bomb it, because that's how we do things in the Royal Navy. So we're going to cruise forward a little bit, uh, in case you missed that. I right-clicked to the command sign, then I right-clicked for cruise forward, and now it's going forward. It's a little jerky. I'm hoping we can fix this in 1.8. I'm going to see if I can make some code that makes that a little cleaner. Okay, this uh, looks... Uh, I'll move forward a little bit more, so I can look down and see what's beneath me through that window. That's good enough. Okay, stop there. All right. Now let's watch this uh, bomb mechanism in action. Okay. 
And you see how that works? I think that's just awesome. So it uh, it drops the bomb uh, in the middle, which shoots all of the other ones out in a circle around it. Oh, hey, look. And let some lava free. Um, and it blew up in a circle around there, right? Uh, so, you know, that's cool and everything, right? Problem is, <laughs> it turns out it's much more effective to simply drop 300 bombs uh, and... Uh, you'll destroy the place a lot faster, and it uses less space. So in the beginning, it was all about bombing things and damaging things on the ground, right? Pretty soon, though, the Royal Navy realized that they weren't the only ones who had airships, and it became a lot more important to be able to defend yourself against ships. So later designs, they focused less on bombs and more on uh, defenses. Okay, that's all the onboard weapons. Now, the destroyer is actually, most of her bulk is comprised of this huge double layer uh, hangar bay. So we have these two fighters ready to go right now, a fighter and a uh, gunship. And then I have up here, the utility ships. The intent of this one is to fix the ship. So, you know, you keep all of your and pieces, that this is armor plating, so you can put that on uh, in case that you have some chunks blown off in combat. And then that's for exploring, <clears throat> maybe finding a good place to, uh, I don't know, set up an ambush or something. So we'll start with the fighter. Okay, so the fighter, uh, again, first generation ship, right? Not a lot of the bells and whistles you'll see on later fighters. Uh, but, uh, oh, look, she also does not have any rounds in her. So, I'm going to take this opportunity to show you where the storeroom is. Uh, you head aft, uh, around this big ship here, and you have a series of rooms. This is intended to be the captain's quarters. Uh, you could put your own, like, put a chest in here, whatever you want. Um, this is the ship's storeroom. Long kinds of stuff in here. What I'm after at the moment is some fireballs. Oh, dear, there's not very many. Fortunately... I'm in creative mode, so I can do this. Ah, cheating. It's wonderful. Um, and so now I'm going to go back to the front. I could also load arrows into this. Um, but fire charges are what we're after right now. Oh, you can also load TNT in there, turning this into effectively a bomber. Alright. Take command here. And move forward until we stop. Okay, let me go straight down. Okay, and we'll see over there behind us is another ship. So I'm going to turn. This time, it is a warship, so it actually has armor. And thus, if I go up here... Oop, oh, I put my head through there. Ow, ow. Okay, when you do that, try to keep your cool and just uh, uh, go down. So yeah, the plug-in will let you put your head into something. Uh, it is painful to do so. So, yeah, just be ready, and all you have to do is move your ship back down, and you'll be fine. Okay, so there's two ways I can operate these guns. I can simply rapidly click. Yeah, I know, low tech, but it works. Alternatively, I can hit it once, so now all of these are glowing, telling me the weapon is ready to go. And then if I move, every time I move, it's actually firing again. So I'm kind of strafing back and forth, if that makes sense. All right. Now, I've set that on fire, right? But as we've discussed, if you ever saw my uh, combat tactics video, it's not going to do anything. Uh, the ship is fine. It has armor. It will not burn through. I need to break through that armor first. For that, I need the gunship. I could also use the destroyer's cannons, of course. The point of this is to show you the fighter. Fighters. Okay, here is the gunship. And I'm momentarily forgetting where exactly the command sign is on this. Oh my goodness. I don't think there is one. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna go make one. <laughs> How embarrassing. Okay, let's see. That'll be in uh, organic processed goods, probably. Yep, signs. Okay. I'll put it here. Air skiff, gun, ship. Okay, so this is a very rudimentary gun. Um, oh, oh, 
We must not be out yet. There we go. Get back over here. Um, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this older first generation gunship. The new ones are great. Uh, which, yeah, I guess it doesn't help much. Um, but anyway, the problem is, it's very easy to accidentally hit... Oh, hey, that's where the sign was. Oh, well. It's very easy to accidentally hit this button while you're moving around. The result is usually that your uh, little fighter blows up, and that's not much fun, of course. All right, so I hit the one on bottom. That puts out the uh, propellant. Then I hit this. That puts out the projectile. Boom. I missed. So I could try and get it right. And it's, it is a question of timing. This takes some skill to use this weapon. Okay, I put a hole in her. Let's uh, see if we can put a more useful hole in her. There we go. And now, my buddy who's on the fighter, or would be, if I wasn't making this video by myself, can move over here. And remember, it's firing my guns every time I move. Okay, but I didn't quite get it, so I'm just going to manually fire a couple times. Oh, come on. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. And now that ship is doomed. Uh, so, yeah, there's, there's, that's how the fighters work. Um, it's intended so that the destroyer is intended to use those fighters as scouts and as support. She does only have the one forward-facing gun. Cannon, I should say. And for that reason, she does need the uh, support of that uh, gunship a lot. All right, well, that's the Destroyer. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I like this ship as kind of a, you know, the workhorse to, to do any task uh, that, that you need done. It may not be the best at it, uh, but it can do it.